uh, if you're from California or if you just recently moved here for, uh, for school, I truly hope for your own sake you've had a chance to go to the beach. Uh, we have some of the best beaches in the world, and whether it's just for uh, a walk on the beach, a swim in the ocean, or you just like to sit on this, uh, underneath the sun in the sand, uh, the beach can give anyone great rewards. Uh, for myself, I like to free dive. Uh, free diving is basically uh, simply explained as scuba diving without using oxygen or uh, any of the oxygen tanks that comes with it. So, uh, that's what I'm here to talk to you guys about today. Uh, when I go for a dive, uh, it usually starts with me and a buddy because that's the best way to do uh, to dive. Because, like the number one rule is, you never want to dive without a buddy. So usually we drive down to the beach and we start looking for spots. Uh, in my hometown, we have a couple of favorite spots, whether it's a good kelp forest or a nice rock outcropping. Uh, that's where most of the fish hang out, or the harbor seals, or whatever you happen to see that day. So today I'm going to take you guys on a dive. So, uh, usually when we get to the beach, uh, we start out by gearing up. And I usually have a wetsuit on, but obviously there's no way I'm going to come give a speech in a wetsuit. <laughs> so uh, what we start out with is usually we'd have the wetsuit on, and then we'd add on uh, our fins because it makes it much easier to get through the water. And then, on top of that, we'd also do a mask <laughs> and a weight belt, which I brought here today. So, we have our mask, which uh, is used to help you see, obviously, and then the snorkel helps you look uh, down from above. So, usually we get ready on the beach, and then we choose to go out in the uh, and then this is my weight belt, and the weight belt helps uh, neutralize your buoyancy while you're in water, because the, uh, the wetsuit adds buoyancy, and then also when you breathe air, which you need for free diving, you're going to have uh, yourself be non-naturally buoyant, and you need to weigh yourself down, so it's not terribly hard to get down. Uh, and then when we go out into the water, uh, the first thing we do is make sure we enter the water backwards instead of uh, forwards. And you want to make sure you're not like picking up your fins like this because there's no way you're going to be able to get out. Uh, what you want to do then when you get in the water is you want to shuffle because if you're stomping out there, you're probably going to step on a stingray and have a bad day. <laughs> so on top of that, uh, once we get out in the water and we're about this deep, we're going to turn around and, uh, and start to swim out to our spot. Uh, once we get out to this spot, we want to find like a nice kelp forest or rock outcropping, like I said, uh, where it looks like it'd be a good place for fish. And you're going to dive down and uh, hold your breath as long as you can, which for a beginner may not be so long, but after you practice uh, like breath hold training for a while, it really gets to be enjoyable. And uh, so you dive straight down, and you'll be there floating amongst you know all the fish, and it's really just nice because it's super quiet out, and there's no bubbles, and you're just kind of like one with the ocean at that point. Uh, basically, you'll go on doing this for a couple of hours, uh, even if uh, you want to spear fish, which would mean you'd have you know, a spear gun or something like that, and maybe catch some fish, or look under rocks for lobster, whatever you want to do, uh, or just enjoy like the beautiful scenery. And then, once you decide you're done, you swim back into the surface, uh, and you, know, you remove all your gear, and you realize you're tired, you're exhausted, you need a drink, but at the same time, uh, you've had a beautiful day out in the beautiful sun. So, I think uh, hopefully, you know, if you guys ever get a chance, try out free diving. You can do it with just your own body or any of the gear you want helps. So, you know, next time you're at the beach, just go for a dive. <laughs>